Hi Space Cats and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video I'll be talking about one of the largest structures known in the universe and how it's managed to evade detection up until now and why also we care. So let's start. The universe that we live in is extremely well structured, a hierarchy of stars within galaxies, within clusters of galaxies, within superclusters, and connected through sheets, walls and filaments. Between these structures are vast regions of empty space known as voids. On large scales they make up the cosmic web. Galaxy filaments superclusters, galaxy walls and galaxy sheets are large-scale cosmic structures. They're the largest known structures in the universe consisting of hundreds of thousands of galaxies gravitationally bound together. Astronomers have recently found a large-scale cosmic structure of dense galaxies that they called the South Pole Wall, named because it happens to coincide with the South Pole. This wall of dense galaxies gravitationally bound together is not the first such structure found. We know of to date several super galaxies, walls and sheets. The South Pole Wall hasn't been fully mapped out yet, but astronomers believe it to be at least 420 megaparsecs in size, or 1.4 billion light years. This makes it comparable to the sixth largest structure in our universe, the Sloan Great Wall that was discovered in 2003 in the Sloan Digital Sky Survey. The Sloan Great Wall similarly is 1.4 billion light years across, but is twice as far away from us. You may be wondering if this is such a large structure as it seems to be, and so close, then why on earth could astronomers have missed it until now? Well, the problem is that the South Pole Wall is located in an area of the sky known as the Zone of Galactic Obscuration. Here, the structure is hidden behind the bright emission of our own galaxy and galactic dust. For this reason, this part of the sky was also not well surveyed before now. Here, the galactic gas and dust combined with the foreground stars can easily be mistaken for galaxies. To get around this, the astronomers measured the redshifts of the galaxies and their velocities, and with them they could also see the imprint of the gravitational interactions between the galaxies as they're tugging on each other. This allowed them to make a 3D map of the structure distribution, not only of the galaxies, but of the dark matter between the galaxies that does not emit any light and that we can't really see. Finding structures like these are interesting because they provide evidence that such large contiguous entities are not unusual. This can help us better understand the formation of structure in our universe. However, there's one problem. Given its size, the South Pole Wall joins a list of six structures that are so large that their existence is theoretically impossible. Well, at least under the cosmological principle, which says that on very large scales, the universe is isotropic and homogeneous. It should look the same in all directions and wherever you are. This means that structures bigger than 1.2 billion light years across should not exist. They'd stick out like a sore thumb. The fact that these structures have been observed is still an unsolved problem, and it's still unknown whether these structures are really real or just a random density fluctuation. More recently, some studies have shown that the Sloan Great Wall structure may just be a chance alignment of free structures and are not a complete structure in itself. However, optical data is not the only place we're finding these disparities. The cosmic microwave background is a measure of radiation from the early universe that is emitted uniformly in all directions on the sky. 
However, several observations have found an unusually large cold spot, the CMB cold spot. It shouldn't exist in our currently favoured cosmological models, and strangely, it seems to coincide with the Eridana supervoid. In order to create such a cold spot in the cosmic microwave background, the supervoid would have to be a billion light years in size, which is even more improbable than the existence of the cold spot itself. Either way, it's clear that large scale structures like the South Pole wall can provide important clues on solving the problem. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. Let me know in the comment section below what you would like me to talk about next time. And in the meanwhile, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.